Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to do one that I've been meaning to do for quite some time, and it's talking about my favorite thing, which is handbags, obviously. So that's basically why I started my channel, is because I love handbags and watching other YouTubers talk about their handbags, handbag collections, reviews, unboxings, everything to do with handbags I basically love. And today I wanted to talk about contemporary designer handbags that to me don't get enough attention. And I wanted to go over some brands that I think are really, really worth considering if you're looking into buying a designer piece but don't wanna spend the money. I think that these contemporary designer brands are ones that maybe are a little bit less well-known that I really think are worth the money. So let's waste no time and get right into it. Okay, so the first one is from a brand that I don't actually own anything from, but it's a brand that I've considered over and over again, and I think it might be possible that my next bag purchase comes from this brand, and it's Boy, B-O-Y-Y. And at first I was a little confused. I was like, are people just talking about like the Chanel Boy bag? I'm not saying the Chanel part, but no, I'm talking about the actual brand Boy, B-O-Y-Y. Their style is so cute and so, quintessentially them. As soon as you see one of these bags, you can definitely pick out that it is from this fashion brand and the main feature of them is this buckle, which I absolutely love. I love that it comes on a bunch of different sizes. I think that their leathers are incredible and I really believe in what the brand stands behind. I've done quite a bit of research and it's just really important to me to look at what a brand's like mission or vision statement is before buying from them because I want to put my hard earned money towards supporting people that I actually believe in. But Let's just go through some of the bags that they have and the first one is the boy Carl. I'm gonna move over here so I can insert a few photos here to my left, but the boy Carl bag comes in a few different sizes, many different colors, and I think also a few different leather types, but it is just beautiful. To me, this bag almost reminds me of like a Celine luggage in the nano size, especially in the smallest version is what I'm referring to here, but it's that same sort of like grab and go, you can dress it up or dress it down, but it's the perfect sort of middle ground as far as the level of dress that it is or like the level of fanciness that it is. To me, it has the same tier as that Celine bag. But this is one that I think is absolutely beautiful. If you take a look at some of their other handbags too on their website, which I will have linked down below, I think that you should consider a bunch of different bags from this company, but the Boy Carl is one specifically that I absolutely love and just think that you should know about. Without going into a ton of detail, if you look at the About Us section on the Boy website, they do talk about their charity contributions and their dedication to being sustainable and their different levels of sensitivity to the materials that they're using, which I think is really, really amazing. And to me, it's just something, again, that I really wanna support. So take a look at that before you even look at the bags because it's definitely something that's heartwarming and then when you like the bags, you'll just fall in love with them anyway. Now, in terms of prices, most of the boy bags are around the $1,000 to $1,500 mark. The boy Carl is more around the like $1,400 like to $1,500, but the boy Romeo, which is kind of like the smaller version of the Carl with a bar top handle, which I think is beautiful, is more around the $1,200 mark, which kind of gives you a reference point for the rest of their bags. So they're all at a pretty like accessible level of price, especially when comparing to designer, like if you're not spending seven, eight, nine, ten thousand dollars on a bag. These are just much more entry level prices, but I think for what you're getting, you really can't go wrong. The next brand that I wanted to mention is actually even more affordable and it's between like the 300 to about $650 range and it's called Gaia. This is a brand that I've had my eye on for absolute years. <laughs> absolute years. This is a brand that I've had my eye on for years and I love their pieces. Their whole brand is very quirky and it was a couple years ago, I think about 2017 maybe, that they came out with the ARC bag, the one that was all over Instagram. Everybody had it and I thought that it was just 
beautiful and that's when I really started to get into this brand and let me tell you if I had unlimited funds I would buy a whole fresh summer wardrobe from this brand their clothing pieces are amazing they're super eye-catching unique very different and I love that about them they really play with color but they also do neutrals so well but let's talk about the handbags for a second I'm looking down at my phone here I'm gonna have pictures inserted here but one of my absolute favorites from them is the EOS clutch in the pearlized like lucite is it lucite in the pearlized resin I think is so incredible it kind of gives me a little bit of the Jimmy Choo vibes from their pearl part of their collection but the EOS clutch is amazing and I think would work so well for like a wedding or just any sort of beautiful summer occasion similar to the iris clutch so it's another one that's also pearlized that I love but just to give you some reference of a few more we've got the Lilith mini crossbody bag which comes in a few different colors that I think is just so cute and quirky and different and is very similar to that arc bag that they did before. They've also got their iconic pearl bag, which again is so different and adds such a different look to any sort of outfit worn on the crook of your arm, so beautiful. But also the Hera Mini Ring shoulder bag is one that I just think is stunning. It comes in a few different colors and leathers and I really think that you should check out this brand if you want something that is a little bit less seen that you're definitely not gonna walk down the sidewalk and see somebody else with. The next brand you may not have ever heard of, but celebrities have been wearing it like crazy lately, it's Lafshar. And I've been obsessed with Lucite bags lately. I don't know what it is that is drawing me to a clear bag, but let me tell you, these ones are not going to disappoint. So if you look them up on Instagram, it's Lillian Afshar, but it goes by Lafshar. That's the website name as well, and they're just incredible. So again, I'm looking at my phone here, but some of my absolute favorites are the Eva Diamond Cut. It's retailing for $790, so it's that sort of price point level. They go up to in the 900s, but I really don't see anything above the $1,000 mark. The Celeste with the chain, again, you can get some of these bags that are just perfectly clear lucite with like a chunky sort of Bottega inspired looking chain which I think is super great because again it just gives a lot of textural contrast makes it a little bit trendy but to me you can't go wrong with a lucite bag it will literally go with any outfit because it's completely colorless so whatever you pair it with whether it is more day or more evening I really think that it's appropriate for both but because these bags are basically mini bags that's just something to be cognizant of because you might be using it for a lot less less it's not a bag that can fit a ton it's not like you're going to be carrying everything with the kitchen sink inside one of these very small bags but I really do think that you should check out this brand if you're into this sort of look I cannot get enough of it also check out these sorts of bags on Etsy because if you're not stuck on having this exact bag that Kylie Jenner wore and was all a rage then you might be able to find something really similar on Etsy I think Lucite is a really amazing way to go I know that they also do leather and marble looking bags as well but the Lucite is taking the cake for me anything clear and looking like crushed ice with a diamond quilted pattern I'm obsessed with The next brand that I wanted to mention to you is Furla and I did an unboxing of the Furla Margarita on my channel or the Furla Margarita on my channel and this is she. I think she's so beautiful. Again, if you haven't seen that video, I'll have it linked up above but it's got like a textured... Hold on. So as you may have heard me say in that video, I do just love that this is a fully calfskin bag. So amazing quality leather and it's just textured as this ostrich, which is one of my absolute favorite looks. But obviously exotic skins are one, a little bit controversial and two, a little bit more expensive. So I think that this bag is just an absolute like stunner and also the perfect compromise between what the material is actually made of and the look of it. 
So a quick tour of this one, it's obviously got these sangles that you can do up in the front and it's just the smooth calf skin on the back and on the sides. It does have feet on the bottom and just in general, I really don't think that you can go wrong with Furla because the price point is amazing. I ended up getting this one for only around $600 and it was 30% off at the time. So originally more like seven, seven fifty, something like that. But in terms of price and the quality, the stitching, everything about it is just beautiful. There's also a, the Furla 1927 top handle is one that I really have my eye on. I love it so much. Again, it's sort of around the seven, eight hundred dollar mark, but it's beautiful. So I highly recommend that you take a look at this brand. They've got the Metropolis, which is one of their more sort of original styles that they've transformed into many different sort of series and a current one that they have right now is polka dots not exactly my style but i really do think that furla is a brand that you should consider when you're thinking of buying your next handbag The last brand that I wanted to mention is a little bit of like a throwback brand, definitely one that I'm sure you've heard of before and it's Coach. And I have a Coach bag here that I got a few years ago, I think about six, six years ago and it's very versatile, sort of like a basic in a purse collection, nude, small but definitely fits quite a bit but I just think that Coach is one of those brands that people have sort of rediscovered lately so there were a few from their website currently that I wanted to mention to you guys, the first one being the Pillow Tabby purse. This one comes in a few different leather shades, let me just find it here. There's like a neutral, there's a more pink tone, there's black, and I believe it also came in green. And I just think that, especially because the pillow look is still pretty trendy and seen everywhere right now, the designers are doing it at a much higher price. This one is only around $600, so definitely, definitely more affordable. But a few other ones that they've done, the Coach Parker was super, super seen. It's not my absolute favorite, but one of my favorite ones from their current collection is the Willis Tote. It's like a puffed top handle with a twist closure in the front. I'll have, again, some photos here, but they're really beautiful. And I think that this brand may have got a little bit of a bad rap from before just because it stayed constant with that monogram for so many years that they really did need to refresh what their style was and what their identity was. And I think that that's something that Coach has done really well. And again, for around like the three to, I'm gonna say $700 price point, which is where most of their bags would fall into. I think it's a really great price for something that is really high quality. They also do exotics and to the point where their prices will rival those of other definitely higher designer brands like Dior, or Fendi, for example, but their exotics are also beautiful if that's something that you're into. So maybe take a look at some of these options that I'm mentioning to you. I'll have them linked down below. And that's gonna be it for this contemporary designer roundup. Please do take a look at some of the links that I have down below if you're interested in any of these, but they're really beautiful and I think there's something also great about being unique and having a bag that people are going to definitely notice but not necessarily know the brand of. So I personally like that a lot, which is why I ended up getting the Fudla bag especially. But check these out. I hope that you like this video. Please do give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe if you're new and I'll see you very soon in my next one. Bye guys.